following is a presentation of the Pro Wrestling Report. Television, radio, internet, the world. Yeah, David. Well, we're, we're supposed to start five minutes? All right, so you're almost here? Okay, so about two minutes out. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to talk about uh, TNA's pay-per-view, Victory Road, I guess. And wait, who's with you? Oh, okay. All right, cool. Well, we should be all right. So, uh, oh. oh, I got to take this. It's Mike. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Mike, how are you? Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, no, you did great on Monday. Oh, you owned him. Owned him. Make him your yabba dabba bitch. <laughs> Excellent. All right, yeah. Thanks for the call. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right, whoop. All right. Wait a minute. Oh. I think he's doing it again. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, no. This is not, not happening. Not happening. Not this week. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. I told them we are not doing this again. And you know, stop, stop it right now. Stop it right now. Oh, no. No, no. Put that down. You may as well just stop. We are not doing this. This is not, no. I am in charge around here, and I'm on the phone, and you all are starting your shenanigans again. Cal, if you could excuse yourself, please. Take your leave. Goodbye. Coming up next, it's the Pro Wrestling Report Primetime Television. We're going to talk about this Sunday's TNA Victory Road on pay-per-view. The Miz's dominance on Raw this past Monday night. Several returns, more returns to the World Wrestling Entertainment WrestleMania pre-activities. Uh, See? Cal's got me all flustered here. I'm in charge! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, no Del Hero entrance this week. The Pro Wrestling Report starts right now. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Primetime Television. Damian Nelson here sitting alongside David Octavius the Tiberius, the alleged Hall of Famer hero. You really have me check my scarf again at the front door? And you tried to pull shenanigans again here. Where is Cal? He's been put on ice. Uh, he's supposed to Look, be here. I was on the phone. I was busy. I was getting stuff done. Uh -huh. And, you know, you're trying this whole Del Hero thing again. Not going to happen. Well, I'm not brother. trying. It's what the people want. Well, it's not happening. It's a rating success. Didn't happen. Not happening. Will not happen. I'm not very We're pleased. here to talk about professional wrestling, another big week in wrestling. And uh, let's get right to it. This past Monday night, WWE Raw. We saw, we knew Stone Cold Steve Austin was going to be coming back, which was obviously a pretty good thing for WWE. Is that his mic? Yep. I'm hanging on to this, too. Really? Yep. Man. Pretty good thing for WWE because... They scored a 3.92 rating this past Monday night, which is very substantial. Stone Cold. Absolutely. Rating. Stone Cold back. And uh, we were a bit surprised, though, by the return of another former superstar from WWE, JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield, the wrestling god. You were really excited for him, weren't you? I'm a JBL Again. mark. Why? Why? I, I get it. JBL is a great talker, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. He's a great wrestler, in my opinion. He was a great wrestler. champion, in my opinion. He's a brawler. He's Stan Hansen Jr. His particular style of wrestling appealed to me. Right. I was just always a fan of JBL. I like the, the rich, pompous, arrogant, I'm better than you kind of guys. Then why don't you like Del Rio? I never said I didn't like Del Rio. Oh, my gosh. Every week. Oh, you said Del Rio. I thought you said Del Hero. No, Del Rio. Yeah, I, I have problems with Del Hero, but Del Rio, no problems at all. Oh, uh, okay. I got gotcha. you. He's the future. He's a star. He Back is. when you were sitting here talking about he was 5'5", five, five, it would never be anything. He was 5'5". Five, five. I have long been his fan. No, you have not. Yes, I have. When have I ever searched the tapes? When have I ever I talked will. bad about ADR? Dude, you never crawl out of the Miz's underwear drawer long enough to even talk about ADR. Come on. You have my scarf confiscated when I walk in the building now? You would have had it back had you not tried this stunt. Oh, the scarf gives me the power. JBL. JBL. One-time deal or not? He was teased as the special guest referee for the matchup between Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler. That would not be. He will be at WrestleMania 
in some form or fashion now. Does he need to be? Yeah, to get his revenge on Austin, or at least try to. It was, a, it was almost reminiscent of, what was that, that Saturday night's main event where they had a beer drinking contest? Yes. It was almost, there was a third in the ring at Saturday night's main event. I don't remember was who it was. Was it Matt Hardy? I don't think so. No? Could have been, but I don't think so. Uh, but a fun night, and no one expected JBL back. No. It didn't get spoiled out there, and it was a nice, good mark out You know moment. what, though, but when JBL started following you on Twitter, that probably should have been the heads up. Right? Could have been. Um, did it take away from Austin's appearance on Raw? Stone Not Cold returning. Not Obviously, Stone Cold going to be the host of Tough Enough, which will debut the night after WrestleMania after Raw because the Hall of Fame ceremony is actually going to air before Raw on Monday, April 4th. That's a big night of TV. Four hours of professional wrestling the night after WrestleMania. Wow. Followed by two more hours of the Pro Wrestling Report on 540 ESPN. And ESPNMilwaukee.com. Um, didn't take away, but... Michael Cole, who I thought was dressed like a cross between Brother Love and Matlock uh, this past Monday night, did, he, he, you know, he's performing well, extremely he knew well. He in this was going to be soaked, so he probably wore his <laughs> crappy clothes. Smart, yeah, probably. Didn't mm -hmm. think about that. Didn't yeah. think about that. Um, I, I hope to see JBL at WrestleMania because it, it's, you'll probably see him in catering, won't you? Uh, yeah, I'm sure he has his own catering. He probably eats kosher or something like that. Kosher Cowboy. In addition to JBL, Stone Cold came back, as we alluded to. You talked about uh, Michael Cole getting soaked by beer or, uh, later <coughs> on that evening. Mm -hmm. Stone Cold came back, didn't say much, and David Hurl, that didn't strike you as very effective. No, not at all. People wanted to hear St Steve Austin what? Kind of promo. Exactly. Who didn't? What? They wanted that. I was let down. What? It was a great appearance. He got a couple stunners in, had the Steve Weisers, but he's still light. Right? Wow. <laughs> like Vince couldn't you know, send the Brooklyn Brawler to get some better beer than that. I, shame on you, Brooklyn Brawler. <laughs> um, Stone Cold, obviously, now involved in this matchup at WrestleMania. And surrounding Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole, we talked about WrestleMania as it was so far last week. Surrounding Jerry Lawler and Michael Cole, you've got Jack Swagger. And you've got um, a lot of distractions. In Stone Coat Steve Austin and according to Hulk Hogan, Jimmy Hart. Yeah, Jimmy Hart, the manager, the mouth of the South. What's that connection, if that were to come to be? What's that connection between him and Lawler for the average WWE fan? Oh, they've been friends for forever. But for the fan? I'm sure they'll explain it. They won't care because it'll be cool to see Jimmy Hart. When's the last time we saw Jimmy Hart in WWE? 2002-ish? When was the last time Hogan was there? It was around 2002-2003, I believe it was. What's dangerous, Hall of Danny? Fame. Davis, He's in the Hall of Fame. Days. When was Jimmy Hart in the Hall of Fame? I don't recall. A couple years ago? I don't recall. We can look it up here in a minute. We could. But I'm not distracted. But also back on Raw this past Monday night, Dolph Ziggler and Vicky Guerrero fired from SmackDown a couple of weeks ago. Now Ziggler gets his chance to shine on WWE Raw. But Vicky Guerrero has a little bit of work to do, David Harrow, to get her job on Monday night. She's got to beat Trish Stratus. Really? Which uh, didn't come... When that was announced, it wasn't uh, as, as hugely received as I thought it would be. Well, because a lot of people really don't know who Trish Stratus is anymore. A lot of the new fans. She's been gone for, what, four or five yeah, years now? Yeah, it's been about a minute. Yeah. Now, if they would have said Beth Phoenix or Natty Neidhart, you know. Poor Trish. She comes back. Trish is a coach on Tough Enough, by the way. Comes back to work with Vicky. Excuse uh, me? What's wrong with that? One of the one of the best female wrestlers of all time. True. You know. Yeah. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun to watch. You might like it. I'm not going to be a big fan for it. It's going to be in St. Louis when Snooky's there. <laughs> Snooky, who's going to be the guest star on Raw Monday night. Uh, well, no, how does nobody compare? will be called the guest host anymore because now that's the rock skin. Right. Who is more important as it pertains to guesting on a wrestling show? Snooki or Vic Val, whatever her name was, Angelina and j -Wow. Oh, Snooki. I mean, I've never really watched the show. j is hotter, but yes, I guess Snooki's the bigger star. Snooki and Cookie would have been fun. Yeah. Cookie and TNA, Snooki and Jersey Shore. Uh, but... <sighs> WWE did, did delivered a knockout blow. Do they need Snooki? Does it make any sense to have Snooki on a show right before WrestleMania? Maybe, a little bit.
Maybe they'll no, get some crossover. That was fun. just done to stick it to TNA. That's you know Vinnie Mac's way of being cheeky with TNA. You know. You don't think so? John Cena. Yes. Was going to issue the final knockout blow to The Rock this past Monday night in a verbal war of words, the Cold War, if you will. How's it a Cold War if they're talking? That's true. Well, there's no physicality. Okay. Um, John Cena, though, would uh, fail miserably in his efforts oh, this past brutal. Monday night. That's hip -hop? With all the hype and with all the discussion, I think John Cena and WWE were in the impression that they can come out there and send him out there and whether he was good or bad, the fans would have received him as owning The Rock. Well, quite frankly, the feedback we've gotten via our live text messages on the radio show this past Monday night, via Facebook, via Twitter and such, um, not too many people thought it was... Uh, even a, a, mo a, a moderately decent promo from John Cena. It was bad. Brutal. I think it was probably his worst one yet. Had it not been so hyped, would it have been as bad? Yes. It was just bad. The, the focus... Pearl necklace, seriously? I mean, come on. You don't need that. Could have brought the pinwheel out again. Pinwheel? How about the pinwheel? He's... Continuing to hang on this fact about The Rock's not there, thus proving he's not invested, thus proving he doesn't care about the fans. He's there via satellite, which, you know, that was a clever shirt. It was very funny. Clever, but at the end of the not day... as clever as the shirts matter? we have out lately. Ah, you have another bitch. Yeah. It's a hot shirt. Um, hot seller. Does it matter that The Rock is doing things via satellite? I mean, here's the fact of it all. And what you have to understand, The Rock is shooting movies. He's working in Hollywood. He had commitments. He's finishing out those commitments and will continue those commitments. To take a person off a set, a movie set, for a day who's a star of a movie is millions of dollars in lost production. You're not expected to understand that, nor should you understand that, because you just want to see The Rock. I get that. So WWE and The Rock are doing everything they can to keep him on television, but at the same time, do you want to ruin the fact that The Rock is back by having him there live each and every week? Or is this a smart play by WWE? Uh, also, The Rock doesn't want to get there at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and sit there all day. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? 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 Hey, those kids there. You know? Keep calling them kids. They're kids. That's such a demeaning term no, for it's these not. athletes and these stars. They're kids. They're in their 20s. Oh, I forgot. You're 50. 51. 51. Yeah. God. We will see The Rock on Raw, for that there is no doubt, before WrestleMania. Probably the week, probably the one in Chicago. Absolutely. That's going to be a great Raw. It's too bad we can't go. We got a show to do. It's going to be a big show as well uh, that night, right before the week before, actually, WrestleMania kicking off all of our WrestleMania <coughs> coverage. And speaking of our WrestleMania coverage, David Hero, later on in this program, we're going to go to Be the Booker for W. I'm sorry, for TNA's Victory you Road Paper. You almost said WCW, didn't you? Road uh, Wild. It's kind of similar. Victory Road this Sunday and the week of WrestleMania. In addition to that Monday night ESPN radio show, every day, David Hero, there's going to be an installment of Be the Booker talking about matchups from WrestleMania 27 leading up to the every full day. version and full episode on Sunday, WrestleMania Sunday. Yes. It's, it's a lot of chasing around. That'll be fine. Yeah, for you, you live like three blocks away. Well, you just signed that new contract and it's yeah, in. Yeah, I, I, I guess. So be sure to tune in for that. And also, we're going to be at WrestleMania in Atlanta, Georgia. And we're going to have videos all weekend long, including our cameras. We'll be out at the WrestleMania meetup, uh, brought to you by the Pro Wrestling Report, which is going to be right before the Hall of Fame from 4 o'clock to 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, and some big news coming in in regards to that, actually. Uh, that meetup. It's a secret. Don't want to spoil it, but it's going to be good. It's a and, dark uh, secret. <laughs> Um, and also, uh, all of you are going to get a chance to uh, be a part of PWR Primetime, including everybody in the suite for Sweet and Sexy. Uh, Linda really? Kay's going to be doing some interviews. Absolutely. You're going to invite all of them to be a part of the show? Yeah, why not? It's the people show. Okay. Uh, all right. Raw overall this past Monday night, you said it was not so good on the radio show this past Monday night. It wasn't great. I mean, what did they really accomplish? Not much wrestling, but they I think they brought Sheamus back into play a little bit. Got him working bit. with Daniel Bryan. Seeing JBO back what was tremendous. Who were the tremendous. tag team champions? Were they on at all? No, they didn't have time. No. Um, was the Divas champion on? Oh, there was a Divas championship match. Oh, yeah, that's right. You he may forget because Michael Cole interrupted it. How rude was... The girls are hot about that. They should be. They didn't know about it. 
Really? They didn't know about it. Wow. That's crappy. Yeah. Can That's you imagine crappy. what they were thinking? But you know what? i got to say, as a viewer, without that piece, it fit. It all made sense to me. But at the same time, it didn't. Why the girls, though? Well, I think you can answer that question. They could have so. picked any other match on the show. They could have, but would they have? It just shows that Cole, Maybe you know, it, it be makes Cole a coward because he went after the girls and not the guys. Which is... He's supposed to be a guy. That's his gimmick. It fit, but your point is valid. It it really did crap on not only the Divas overall, but the Divas championship. The championship. championship. Boy, Eve had a hot Wonder Woman looking out, but didn't she? She was spinning around in my head. Um, In? Um, SmackDown tonight on the Sci-Fi Network. We'll see a match made, David Hero. One of my matches that I made? A match made. This is a bit of a spoiler alert. However, it is a minor spoiler. Picture it. Atlanta, Georgia, Dome, WrestleMania 27. Cody Rhodes versus Rey Mysterio. Rey accepts the challenge of Cody well, Rhodes. What's he going to do? Not accept the challenge of Cody Rhodes? Apparently, Ray wanted this matchup. Ray handpicked Cody Rhodes to wrestle at WrestleMania. Handpicked him. Handpicked him. Well, he wanted to wrestle some of the same size. Hornswoggle wasn't available. Bro, well, because he's a judge or a uh, pro at NXT yeah. this season. You know what? <clears throat> wow. So Ray goes from winning the world championship a few years ago. Six. To opening the show Five, with four. Cody Rhodes. You stop that. You, why are you assuming they're going to open the show? Why wouldn't they? Have you read Dustin Rhodes' book, Crossroads? No, I have not. You actually should. Uh, he tells some interesting stories about the point that you continue to make about Cody Rhodes and how if it wasn't for his dad, he wouldn't be in that spot. And what does he say? You have to read the book. Is there a he says, version? He says that his father, and his, at least in, in regards to him, made every effort in the world not to do anything special for him as his son. However, he acknowledges the fact that he was his son. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's some natural assumptions and, and, and natural things that are going to come with that. You know what? Listen, in defense listen. of Cody Rhodes. Oh, in when, defense when of Cody Rhodes. he inducted his father into the Hall of Fame. When he was still an OV-dub. I was like, wow, this kid can talk. He could be a star. I and then what that. happened? You got in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not... He's not I never said he was the best wrestler in the world. I mean, I'm not saying he's a bad wrestler. It's just he looks like a kid. It's not believable. It's well, all about children. Nothing. It's all about believability. But can't you just okay. throw that out the window? Okay. Just go, throw that out the window no, because that's gone no. in wrestling. Right, but it's go, gone. Go back to the 80s. Okay. Steroids and drugs. Yeah, let's go back oh, to the it's, 80s. It's, it's still in today. Okay, you have Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, Bundy, Stud, Andre. Put Cody Rhodes in that mix. You can't. Okay. It's a different era. Stop. Go back to the 60s. Go to the Attitude Era. Austin, Rock, Taker, Kane, NWO, DX. Put Cody Rhodes in there. Doesn't fit. Same point to be made about an Alberto Del Rio. About no, him is. no, 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 because Del Rio, you can compare him to Tito Santana and Rick Martel. He's in his 30s. But there, were, there, there are... There are cl <sighs> okay. The Miz is Disco Inferno. What? Yes. He's not dancing. He's owning but on I'm Monday nights. Do you know how many new Miz marquees there are out there as a result wonderful. of last Monday's Raw? But you can take the Miz, pop him in there. He's like Disco Inferno. He's like Owen Hart. He's got a build to him. I'm not thinking he wrestles like them. You know what? No, I take that back. Cody Rhodes is Alex Wright, the Wonder Kid. Really? Yeah. Or Eric Watts. What are you going to do at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony? Because your seat is next to I know. Cody Rhodes. I see that. I'll shake his hand. He's going to take that scarf and strangle you with it because. You know what? He can't reach I'm that sure high. you're going to be wearing... <laughs> he can't reach that high. I'm sure you're going to be wearing that ridiculous scarf all over Atlanta. Why wouldn't I? 
DBH. The match is made, Cody versus Ray. Interesting points, but I will go back to there are stars within all those eras that looked like and were as young Ooh. as a lot of the kids nowadays. Give me, give me two. Kids, and he calls them kids. Give me two. Um, okay, just off the top of my head, how about a Bob Backlund? Bob Backlund was a grown man. He didn't look like him. He looks so young. You're saying Bob Backlund. You, and Cody you're basing Rhodes. this all on looks. That's fine. Okay. You know what? I'm not comparing Bob Backlund to Cody Rhodes. I've been putting the chicken wing. I know yeah. what Bob Backlund's all about. It's a stretch. Okay. You know what? For arguments. I'm sake, not comparing them. I'll give you Bob Backlund, <laughs> a guy that drew no money. He needed heels to draw money. Isn't it a two-way dance? No. Two-way street? No. Two to tango? Geico asks, does it take two tangos? You need tango? a strong you baby and a strong heel to be successful. Cody's not a strong heel. Who takes him seriously? Right? Also on SmackDown this Friday night, actually the awesome. non-televised version, uh, in a dark match, returning to WWE as SmackDown was in Houston, Shelton Benjamin. Bit of a surprise there. Ring of Honor. Uh, he was in a dark match? He was in a dark match. Apparently he found out that day, so it was a bit of a surprise, and he says he may or may not have a WWE future. His well, they after could that use day. him for the Money in the Bank. That'd be excellent. He is Mr. Money in the Bank. No, he's not. He's never won. Really? It. He's never won it. Yeah, but when you think he Money in the Bank, do you spots, not think... That's it. When you think Money in the Bank, do you not think Shelton Benjamin? No. Really? Every year, people are looking for what he's going to do, yet I don't think anyone ever expects him to win it. I think Jack Swagger. I think Ken Anderson. Jack I what? think Edge. I think CM Punk. Winners. Nah, see. I think of last year's Money in the Bank. I think of Ziggler. I think of Evan Bourne. Really? They were the highlights of the match. I think of Kofi Kingston. Okay. I believe you. See, because I, as a wrestling fan, can watch a match and enjoy the entertainment presented before me during that matchup and appreciate the efforts of those talents. I don't believe you. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. It's at, how you all play the, time. the game. Right. And how you play it. Yeah. And speaking of which, Triple H on SmackDown Triple this Friday H. to address yeah. The Undertaker. And they do a little bit more of the mime game on uh, the broadcast this week. How about Triple H working overtime? How so? Chaperone? Well, besides that... Oh Have you Netflixed that yet? You know, you know what? Actually, Triple H sent Cal a copy. We saw it last oh, week. Oh, really? Yeah. How was it? Did you make it through the whole thing? I fell asleep. Cal liked it. And that was just watching the trailer? On the extras? You know what? The trailer was actually deeper than the movie. Shelton Benjamin, Money in the Bank, I like that idea, but I'm not sure there's going to be a Money in the Bank Shelton matchup Benjamin at WrestleMania. Shelton Benjamin has come and gone. The only reason why they want to bring Shelton Benjamin back is because if you go to Toys R Us, that's the only action figure you see on the peg. Does anyone care about Shelton Benjamin? They've given him every opportunity to shine in the last six, seven years, and he can't do it. Tremendously talented, but he's... What's the it. difference between a wrist watch and a wrist lock? What's the difference between a, and I, I caution, that's why I'm hesitant, I caution using this, because there are obvious differences, but what's the difference between a Chris Benoit, who was a great technical wrestler, who could bring it in the ring, who really didn't have much charisma or ability to talk, mm -hmm. and a Shelton Benjamin, who is a great competitor, who could bring it in the ring, but it clearly does not have those same skills. Shelton Benjamin is not... They're similar, I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. But the fans connected with Chris Benoit. I'll give you that. So is it WWE, Shelton Benjamin's, or nobody's fault that the fans never necessarily connected with Shelton? They've given Shelton wins over Triple H. They gave him his mama. I mean, they put him in the world's greatest yeah. team with Kurt Knight. I mean, they've given him everything. Yeah. And at times, it just doesn't take. No, not at all. NXT Season 5 debuted this past Tuesday night, and uh, there were a lot of unanswered questions going into that show. We found out that the title of the show would be Redemption, and that means several former uh, rookies are back to try again. And uh, I saw the list. Did you check it twice? I'm not watching. Really? Yeah. I made it through the first competition. Um, David, not David Otunga, but... Uh, 
um, Black Seal. Um, Daryl Young? Yeah, yes, Darren Young. Uh, part of that as well. But how about the pros? Chavo Guerrero? Vladimir Kozlov? JTG? They're going for international flavor, aren't they? Hornswoggle? They're going to need subtitles. <laughs> Yoshitatsu? See? It? It's, you know, it's international edition. <laughs> <laughs> International Incident, one of my yeah. favorite pay-per-views of all time. Yes, because, July 1996. Of, because of Jacqueline. And Jim Cornette. Of course. Mm -hmm. And William Regal as commentator. See? Absolutely. They, they did a great job at it. He was, yeah, how about that? William Regal. Um, I'm not sure I care where this goes, because NXT has just become a complete joke, uh, which is unfortunate, I guess. But uh, at least I'm, I'm more intrigued by this than uh, the last couple of quote-unquote seasons. Really? Yeah. I mean, it's got a, th there's more backstory to it. Meaning, these guys tried once, and now they've failed. learned things, sort of, kind of. Yeah, but now they're getting a second chance. Don't you agree everyone deserves a second chance? Sometimes. They do. Not everybody. <laughs> we want to remind all of you that uh, we are going to be <coughs> actually available right now. Sorry about that. In the shop at pwrshow.com. Brand new merchandise, David Hero. I like pro wrestling. You can show everybody you're a wrestling fan and be proud of it. I tweet pro wrestling for all of our followers on Twitter out there. And the very popular Yabba Dabba Bitch Extremely t shirt. Popular. Available in multiple colors and sizes. All available right now at pwrshow.com. Some of those uh, shirts, David, starting at only $14. Under $14, You actually. can't beat that. It is shipped right to your door in time for WrestleMania. Because when we see you in the ATL wearing one of uh, the PWR shirts, you never know what we have in store for you. And speaking of our great fans out there, let's go to Frank and Linda in the social media center with some comments from Facebook and YouTube from the past week. And they've got a brand new set, by the way. They're in the Street Side Studios Boy, at ESPN. Yeah, I tell you, they are, you know, there's money to be found, I guess. Let's go to the Kaz and Linda Kay. And we are here in a special social media center this week. And Kaz, yes. glad to see you back here. I'm happy to be back. How were those classes? Uh, Fantastic. They went well. Everybody uh, passed with flying colors. Oh, you got to teach me some of that, you know. Uh, you got to be a bit of right. <laughs> And oh. Now it's time for an email. All right, this week's email comes from F. White, and I quote, TNA has a number of problems. For one, the business, marketing, and presentation needs help. Also, the booking is not solid, or better yet, who is the head booker of TNA? Don't get me wrong, I love Dixie, and I give her credit for attempting to run a wrestling promotion, but she may not have the experience like Vince McMahon. Remember, he got a business degree before he worked for his father, as well as worked his way up before he took the company over. He even made heirs. TNA can become a better company, but it must be ran as a business first. Thank you very much, F. White, good for points. that email. Very good points on that. Yeah, they, uh, unfortunately for TNA, should go on hiatus for the next few weeks until WrestleMania ends. Uh, uh, basically, WWE is just on a roll at the moment. But Absolutely. TNA will be around. They've got great talent there. I agree. But there's been a lot going on in WWE, and that happens to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. And we've got some YouTube quotes. Let's uh, run through these. This is from Dan Gurton. He's just laughing. He loves it. From Mick, Mick PC, nice, nice way to bring him in. Lucas Cabrera says, by God, by God. Chris Barclay, three Keystone Lights dumped on Michael Cole and two Stone Cold Stunners to JBL Priceless. Stone Cold Steve Austin is still the WWE SOB. Jonathan Melhuish says, how you book, that's how you book Stone Cold. Alex R Alphabet says, Mark <laughs> mark out moment. Skylar Smith, great segment. Nice scene. JBL2. Uh, Scott Retzky, oh hell yeah, the best Raw they've had in a while. And Michael Malenkoff, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your last name. Just what I say, I won't watch Raw next week due to the iPad going out at the moment. But it's a great <laughs> quote, I guarantee it. Stone Cold Steve Austin, he's ho hosting Tough Enough. It's just a. Uh, a domino effect right now with WWE. They got everything going. It all leads up to WrestleMania, and it's 
Right? It's just a steamroller at the moment. However, speaking of steamrolling, it's the t-shirts that are steamrolling on pwrshow.com. Absolutely. If you haven't got a chance to check it out, make sure to check out the shop at pwrshow.com. Lots of new shirts as well as some more of your comments. More so comments. Let's go to the YouTube. I skipped it. Let's go to the YouTube comment I threw, of the week. A, curb, I, I threw a curb on. You caught it. I did. How about that? You know, right. run. I'm learning. All right. <laughs> now, this YouTube comment comes from last week's prime time, and it says, Heenan and Monsoon, JR and the King, and Damien and Hero. Wow. Lots of love for us here on, well, the, on the web. So that's thank a you good very tag much. team right there. Absolutely. Award winning. Winning. Absolutely. Winning. It's a big quote, you know. Lately, There's a winning t-shirt, isn't there? Absolutely. There's a Yabba Dabba Bitch t-shirt also. <laughs> and I like wrestling. I tweet wrestling. Lots of new shirts. Make sure to check it out once again on pwrshow.com. All right. Sounds good. Any more lessons on thugonometry before we head out? Private lesson later. Oh, okay. All right. Damien, David, take it away. Thank you, Frank and Linda. Wow, that's looking good. It always looks good. Downtown Milwaukee. Grand Avenue Mall or the shops or whatever in the background mm -hmm. down at the uh, 540 ESPN studios. Matter of fact, coming up in two weeks, we're getting new digs. Really? Absolutely. Well, it's about time. Yes. Well, just tune in to see that. Balls next, of justice. No. no. Next week, uh, we will have a special edition of the Pro Wrestling Report because our studio will be under construction. So we'll have a, a special edition of the best ever, a new series. And this particular episode is the best talkers ever in the wrestling business. And I think you'll be surprised by some of the names on that list because it's not as obvious as you may think. Am I on the list? Talkers being those who could cut good promos and those who brought the fans into their, their cause gotcha. when they were talking All right. in well, the, a wrestling ring. Okay. It made me feel bad about it. Speaking of being in a wrestling <laughs> ring, we, announced, or we found out on this past Monday who the next inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame is, and it is Sunny, the most oh, at one that. time the most downloaded personality in the world. It's funny how she's going in with Shawn Michaels. What does that mean? I don't understand. I, you've heard the rumors? No, I haven't. I don't. I don't read that stuff. Really? Just the facts. Car oh. facts. Okay. Sunny, uh, the original diva. I mean, that's controversial at times. Uh, to say, but really, she did revolutionize what the hot, female role in professional wrestling was. Absolutely. I mean, we went from Velvet McIntyre and Rocky <laughs> to Sonny. Don't forget Bertha Faye. <laughs> to Sonny. Sonny. How many, uh, how many men grew up to Sonny? I'm glad that was the question you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking. Uh, Sunny, iconic in the wrestling business, and uh, we've had her on this program a couple of times. Uh, a great gal, a great person to talk to, and still looking great, by the way. I think last time we saw her on WWE TV was the, was it the 15-year anniversary so, of her? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, no, she was at WrestleMania 25, part of that Battle Royal. Yes, she, she was, was on our show the week before. Yes, she was. Yeah. Which, they, you know, they never even announced her or any yeah. of the other Divas' names of uh, to participate. Kid in Rock was there, well, you know. He was, uh, they were so hot. Yeah. He was singing so hot. Yes, he was. Um, you know, a good choice. So now we got Sonny, Bullet Bob Armstrong, Shawn Michaels, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And Abdul the Butcher. Not announced yet. Come on now. Oh, it wasn't announced yet? No. Oh, I'm He sure. did, but yeah, they done. haven't. Is that it then? Uh, let's see. We got three more Raw broadcasts, I believe, between now and Mania. They can fit two more in, I think. Abdullah. Uh, you know, we, we talked about uh, whether or not Sting would go into the Hall of Fame or who would get inducted into the Hall of Fame. We talked about how there wasn't really anybody in it who never wrestled. That makes sense. The, you know, this class is already much better than last year's. Was it? I think, well, Shawn Michaels is obviously the main event this year. Um, but now you add Sonny, who's going to be fun. Uh, and uh, It's going to be a good, good Hall of Fame. I agree. It'll be interesting. What was interesting uh, just a couple of days ago was uh, tuning in to CBS one random morning, watching Drew Carey on The Price is Right, and then seeing a TNA wrestler, Brian Kendrick, you know participating bad. on The Price is Right. You know they're not getting paid when they got to go on game shows to win some money. But here's the thing. This oh, is please good. explain this one to me. 
This is good for TNA. No, it's not. Let me finish. This is good for TNA because, and here's how it would have been good for TNA. We maybe would have heard about it last Thursday on Impact. See TNA superstar Brian Kendrick. Now we're on the TNA T-shirt. Right. He did Next not week. look like a TNA superstar. Did he even acknowledge that he was? No. How does that happen? Granted, they can do whatever they want in a lot of those cases, but how do you as a company, remember what we talked about last week right here on this very program? Business. Business first. Fix that kind of stuff. How do you not, I mean, people were, were tweeting us and, and, and emailing saying, did I just see Brian Kendrick on The Price is Right? Yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? What are you doing? Just... Uh, I feel better now. You took the scarf. I was losing some energy. I feel better. You have issues. <laughs> yeah, but now we can talk about TNA, Brian Kendrick. Dixie didn't even tweet about it. She didn't even know. <laughs> and Dixie tweets everything. How embarrassed are they that one of their stars is on a game show that looks like Joe Walmart? He, he looked like a college kid. Exactly. And that's the kind of stuff that you control. Vince would never let that There's happen. There's no chance. There's never. no chance. And if a WWE never. star was going to be on... It would be a WWE themed week or day on that program. TNL TNA did uh, Family Feud a couple of uh, weeks or years back or year, weeks back. How bad is that for TNA? It's horrible. And again, goes right to the root of the issue and the problem, which is fixing your business. Now, Kendrick may not have ever even told them that he was going to be doing it or had done it because well, that stuff gets taped. Well, but you're also picked out of the crowd. Yeah, you don't necessarily know. That's true. That is true. So maybe, you know, maybe it was all innocent. Maybe you just went and luckily got selected. Who replaced Rod Roddy? I don't know. I thought you were a Price is Right fan. No, or is I that on when The View was on? The View was on during that time. When, you know, J-Lo was on today. No, she was on Regis and Kathy today. Wow. Regis and who? Kelly. How do you feel about the, the rumored replacement for Regis? Who? Mario Lopez. I can see it. Okay. Why not? Yeah, well, just no one could ever replace Reed. They may as well cancel well, the show. That's like exactly. me leaving this show. It's like Charlie Sheen leaving Two and a Half Men. Who? Exactly. Oh. Is he still winning? <sighs> He's not making three million episodes. I don't think that's winning. 1.2. Mm -hmm. A missed Speaking opportunity of for winning, sure. How about that PWR sh uh, show t shirt? No, 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 no. How about that Damian Nelson Host of the Year t shirt? The Hottie t shirt. Winning! A trophy on it. Get it all kinds of well, colors available right now at pwrshow.com. It's not a PWR show. It's a Damian Nelson t-shirt. Okay, you who sit here and push this ridiculous David Hero's future ex-wife t-shirt. And it's been a Which is one seller. of the most ridiculous things I've seen in the history of this program. And you have the audacity to ask me if that's a PWR shirt or not? Absolutely. I clear The marketing team has to clear everything with me before they put a product yes, out there. And I and they were reprimanded for not clearing that ex-wife thing. <laughs> it's a great shirt. It's so true. Linda Kay has one. Well, she's got all the shirts because she has to model them. Yeah, she does. You know, we got a request for uh, 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 an 8x10 of Linda wearing a PWR shirt. And I think it was, a size, a oh, it was a size extra small ladies. Oh, just I thought a it was shirt. a onesie. It's the first ever PWR WrestleMania meetup, Saturday before WrestleMania from 4 to 7 in downtown Atlanta. Uh, your opportunity to meet us, all that information at PWRshow.com. All the details will be there. You can meet the whole crew from PWR. Maybe buy us a drink or something like that. Absolutely. Take some pictures, idea. talk some more wrestling. Again, the Saturday before WrestleMania in downtown, downtown ATL. Yeah, from 4 to 7, just before Hall of Fame. Again, more details at pwrshow.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Pro Wrestling Report Primetime Television. Be the booker for TNA Victory Road this Sunday on pay-per-view. This is it, huh? This is TNA's pay-per-view offering for the month of April. This is what you're giving me to work with. This is what they have given us to work with, yes indeed. Uh, some of these matches announced last night on TNA 
Impact. And uh, let's talk about it as we have them, David Hero, in a match that has been developing over the last few weeks. Bully Ray versus Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer, of course, not liking the way Bully Ray was treating his former partner, Devon. This is a challenge match. It's going to be a challenge to watch. Um, this will be an old ECW-style match, there's no question. They'll bring out Because we still need that? They'll bring out all the gimmicks, but... If they're really going to further Bubba and Devon, this is a no-brainer. Bubba Ray easily over Tommy Dreamer, which then will take him to Devon in the cage at lockdown. What happened to your jacket? It's hot in here. Where's Cal? When are you going to read that contract? Where, where is Cal? I haven't seen him the entire well, show. He's a little upset. Come on, you Damian Nelson. First blood matchup, Matt Morgan versus Hernandez. Hernandez Morgan, first man to bleed, loses the match. When was the last time we've seen a baby face be the heel in the first blood match? I'm sorry? When was the last time we've seen a baby face be the heel? In beat a heel. Beat a heel. In a first blood match. Uh, I can't recall it this time. You going with uh, Supermax? Has to. He's got to get his revenge. For, uh, you know, giving him that concussion and knocking him out for a year to Mexico. You know what's interesting is i got to say, and they've done stuff with them, but it's unfortunate how little attention both these guys have gotten on TNA. Mm -hmm. Because I really think, and Bischoff and Hogan have both talked about it recently, really think that you, there's a future in Matt Morgan, there's a future in Hernandez. Right. I just got to make this... You know, this is the road to lockdown. In Cincinnati, Ohio, we'll be there. We will be there. Gonna reconnect with some people, meet some fans. It's gonna be interesting. And enjoy it live. Coming off the heels of WrestleMania. Actually, yeah, that's two weeks after WrestleMania. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it'll be fine. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Chile. Hernandez wins in this matchup according to David Octavius the Tiberius Hero. X Division Championship is on the line as it is a buck versus a buck. Versus Robbie E versus Kaz. Kaz, the current champion of the X Division. And uh, neither Buck will win, you say, David Hero. Why is that? It's going to come down to these two guys because of the Jersey Shore play. But <sighs> seems like you're 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 you're, you're struggling here on uh, this, this one. Yeah, this particular match because Kaz needs it. You know, they got to keep um, fortune strong. Yeah, you know, which I think they've done a good job of the last couple of weeks on Impact. But at the same time, they need to elevate some other guys, and I think Robbie E. beating Kaz after he did the quick job last month on pay-per-view, uh -huh. maybe Robbie E. leaves as a Team X Division champion. Which I think his time is right. I think so. But I thought they had to keep Fortune strong. They do, keep but, their pimp hand strong. but let's see. Is Cookie going to be here? Snooky? She's on Raw Monday night. And is Tracy going to be here? Brooks? Yeah. I don't know. That could make it interesting, but let Robbie E. leave his champ, and then, once again, we're going to lockdown. Mm -hmm. They can be in lockdown together. Set up a twofer there. Absolutely. Tag Team Championships on the line. Beer Money, the reigning champions, defends against Inc. Inc. Dillagath. Yeah. That doesn't work in my spell check. Well, if you spell it out properly, I'm not sure what words might get changed. Exactly. This match, I think, could be a match of the night. I think you know, Ink Ink has really come along. They really have. Yeah. They really have, and they've got the fans behind them yeah, as they well. Do. But boy, you know, at the end of the day, you got to go with beer money. They're just that good. They're not ready yet, but beer money, the best tag team in the world. Well, who's better? <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> All right, and it's right about this point, probably in the middle of this matchup, where you can tune in to the stream. It's live coverage of the pay-per-view uh, this Sunday on Blog Talk Radio. Not ordering it, not watching it. Join us live as we cover the pay-per-view with an alternative perspective, if you will, as to what is happening live from the Impact Zone in Orlando, Florida. You're going to be with me on that, right? Even after your comments Monday on radio? I need a color guy. I'm khaki. I need a color. Oh, guy. yeah, I'll call in for a little bit. I, I can don't. do it alone. 
I learned well from Joey Styles. Wow. Knockouts tag team matchup. That starts at 8.30, by the way. The stream starts at 8.30 Central so Standard fun. Time. Carries right into the post show, uh, right after the pay-per-view goes off the air, where we take your phone calls and uh, text messages, including uh, your comments from Twitter and Facebook. Next matchup. The Eva's. Knockouts championship, uh, tag team championship matchup. The Sarita and Rosita. The Eva's. <laughs> versus Winter and Angelina Love. The current Knockouts Tag Team Championship. I, for one, champions. I, for one, have been a big fan of Sarita lately. I'm a big fan of Ida's. I mean, right now, they're doing everything right. They brought in Rosita, mm -hmm. right? Her so, cousin, sister. Yeah. Why some not? Relative. Give them the push. These two are going to implode. It's, this it's is, been weird. This is like their mega powers yeah. right here, okay? They're going to implode. <laughs> Who's carrying they, Elizabeth to the back? How about Miz mentioning Miss Elizabeth this past Monday night? How about that? The Macho Man. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I mean, the Edas will leave knockout tag team champions. I see you. Rob Van Dam versus Anderson. Anderson wants his rematch for the championship belt that he has not yet gotten. he deserves it. But this time, it will not be the case because he and RVD will go one-on-one -on -one in a matchup at Victory Road. And keep in mind, Anderson is a good guy, and RVD is a good, good guy. guy. Yeah. I work for Warrior and Hogan. This, of course, takes us to lockdown, where then it's... We're on the road to lockdown! So then the winner is going to face the winner of Sting and Jeff Hardy. I believe so. And uh, I see, I see where you're going. I think, or I see where I would go if I had the pencil, if you will. The devil has to get his due. He's been angry lately. He hasn't been funny, haha. -ha. Let him beat Rob. Rob's already had a couple title matches. Mm -hmm. He's done nothing with it. Yeah, I'm going with Anderson. Anderson. Twice. Yeah, that he will be on the road to lockdown. TNA Championship on the line as Sting goes up. Uh, the soap. <laughs> Sting goes up against Jeff Hardy. Uh, Sting, the current TNA World Heavyweight Champion, as you saw last week on Impact. Jeff Hardy gets his rematch against who Sting called one of the best competitors he's ever wrestled. Jeff Hardy recently married uh, just a couple of days ago. Jeff Hardy. Sting, you think, wins that matchup? Absolutely. He doesn't come Are those back. bars? No, they're not bars. I'm just taking them out of the equation right here. Are those because hash marks? Think about it. Lockdown. RBD really hasn't had his match against Jeff Hardy yet, right. has he? Nope. Having it locked down in the cage. Hardy, RBD, Sting, Anderson, and Sting for the world title. That's how you build it. How you build it is actually announcing this matchup a couple of weeks before the pay-per-view. Right. This match actually not announced till last night, some three days before the pay-per-view. I'm not sure how you expect people to invest $35 when you haven't even told them well, what the main event is. that's why you listen to the stream. You get it for free. Where's AJ Styles? Where's Samoa Joe? Where's the Pope? Who? The Pope. The Black Pope. I, I mean, that. a lot of people are missing from this card, which is, you know, a decent card, though. This is an impact. There's all gimmick matches on here. You got the challenge match, which is a challenge to watch. You got first blood. You got the X division. You got the tag title matches here. These two guys, it's going to be a challenge. RVD is not an easy guy to wrestle. He's very... He's all over the place. Exactly. So this will be a challenge for Ken. Sting over Jeff Hardy. Like I said, that then takes Hardy and RVD to lockdown. Ken and Sting for the title at lockdown. You'll have Kaz versus E again at lockdown. This will be a lot. This pay-per-view is going to be repeated at lockdown, at least most of it. As far as some of the participants in a lot of the matches. Absolutely. What about Jeff Jarrett and Kurt Angle? Well, that'll be a lockdown match. Why wouldn't it? Be? Yeah, has to be. You know, every match is a cage match. There are four letters missing on this. Uh, there they go. DWHS moment, ladies and gentlemen. David Hero has spoken in regards to Ken cool. Anderson. Defeating. Now, remember last time what happened when you yeah, doubled the HHS? I got to get, get back on the 
win column, I guess. Anderson over RVD, and Sting retains the TNA World Heavyweight Championship, much to the chagrin of what I think are a lot of fans out there at this pay-per-view. But as you said, David Hero, it is the road to lockdown. And everything in this pay-per-view, which, quite frankly, I don't like the term, but it's a throwaway pay-per-view for TNA Wrestling. They have those one a year. They have what? They have one a year. One? I'm being nice. Um... So all of this is being done to build towards Victory Road. So no, should it's be all built. I'm sorry, for lockdown. lockdown. If you haven't seen the promos, the road to lockdown. They should be more concerned about this road first. Fix the potholes on that one. Wait, that's RVD. So yeah, get it. Potholes, RVD. The stream this Sunday night, 8:30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Live coverage of TNA's Victory Road pay-per-view. That's only we can provide, followed by the post-show. And then Monday night, David Hero, we're on 540 ESPN, talking about all the goings-on in professional wrestling. I want to thank all of you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you Sunday night on the stream at pwrshow.com and live on Blog Talk Radio. Thanks for tuning in.